You're presenting tonight. What award are you presenting? For uh, Best Country Artist, which is awesome. You know, I love country music. I love music, period. It's one of those things where, you know, this is the sound of America, and I'm so happy to represent it. <laughs> Definitely. Is there anyone you're hoping to bump in here to here tonight on the carpet? My God, you know what? I love the interaction with the fans. I mean, this is the People's Choice Awards. <laughs> and it's really wild because you get to see how much people love you. If you walk up, they go, ah. Or if they go, ah. So you start to feel the love, and I love the interaction. I saw you over there talking to the fans. They definitely were loving you and definitely into it. It feels good. I mean, you know, it's weird because, you know, I'm 50 years old, and to have kids that are like, ah, you go, oh, my God, this is crazy, because my own kids don't do that. <laughs> now, speaking of the fans, what can fans expect coming up on the new season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine oh, on NBC? First of all, it's better than ever. We premiere, We got our premiere date January 10th. It's absolutely incredible. One, the one thing I can tell you, you're gonna find the origin story. We're gonna have, we have the origin story for Hitchcock and Scully. You're gonna find out how they became what they became. And it's absolutely hilarious. We could not be happier. NBC is off the chain. It's so unbelievable. How will the show be different now that it's on a new network? No, you know what, it's really not. It's really not different. In fact, it's, it's more of the same, but bigger. You know what I mean? It's hard to say. It's kind of like bigger, faster, and stronger is what it's going to be. That's, that's all I can say. Amazing. And now, on a more serious note, with these fires going on here in Southern California, have you or anyone close to you been affected by them? Yes. I mean, you know what's crazy? And I have to say this. I am the most, you know, chipper, very energetic, happy guy. But let me tell you something. I'm sad. I'm sad lately, especially after the shootings and the fires and with so many people we know who've been directly affected it's one of those things where I, I have to keep telling myself this don't hate the bad just love what's good more and more and continue to really be appreciative of what you have and the people that you love and the, and the events like this kind of remind you of what you do have and to keep you out of depression and keep you out of feeling bad because the thing is there are people who are not who are, who, I mean, who are going through a whole, whole lot today. And my heart, I empathize 100% for them and I encourage you to help in any way you can. Definitely. And speaking of the shooting, a lot of people now are saying enough is enough. What do you think needs to be done to prevent gun violence? Definitely enough is enough. My thing is, you know what? I mean, these weapons belong in the hands of the military. Um, and it's so why you should not be able to go into a public place and kill, you know, hundreds of hundreds of people in minutes it's ridiculous it's too much and I, I, I say right now something has to be done there has to be something to crack down there's got to be gun control in some form or fashion that still stays with the Constitution definitely I can add to that I believe that we're failing in this country in regards to the treatment of the mentally ill I do not believe we have the safeguards that have once been in place in America to catch people before they commit violent acts. Our mentally ill people are on the streets right now. I would really love to see some advocacy and some understanding and research around better caring for people with mental health issues. That's right, that's right. Oh, definitely, I definitely agree. Well, thank you so much for talking to me and have a good night tonight. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye.